Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our homestead vlog here in beautiful Mexico. Today, um, I need to talk to you guys about our goat, Pan. Pan was our white baby goat, and Pan recently passed away. Um, I'm going to wait a little bit to talk about it because the kids were really upset. This was hard on all of them. It was hard on me. Um, but also, this is a part of homesteading. Um, you do lose animals. And the best thing you can do is try to learn from it so that it doesn't happen again or you can help prevent it the best way possible. And goats um, are new for me, you guys. And we did everything we could um, and we're not really sure why Bon passed away. Um, but I, I will tell you what I what I do know is that Bon always had a little bit of an issue with bloating in her stomach. And um, we have some people here who raise goats and cows and all those things. And I asked them about it when we got Bon because I noticed um, Miel's stomach was smaller and Bon's stomach would get bloated. And then sometimes it'd get bloated for a couple days and then it'd go down and then it'd come back again. Um, and she said, you know what, maybe um, maybe it's because we took them from their mom and they were just getting used to a new food and not being able to nurse. Um, and that can just, and even like stress can cause them to blow. And she said, if I was you, I'd take down their food intake. And so that is what I did. I took down their food intake a little bit. Um, and then that seemed to help, but then Pan got bloated again. So then we thought, well, maybe it could be parasites. So we did um, like a parasite cleanse for them. And we were doing everything we were supposed to. And even though Fawn was a little bit bloated, she seemed like happy and healthy. Um, so the night that I think Fawn had passed away, because I didn't find her till the morning, we had fed her and yell and she was fine. She was loving on us. Um, and then, we went back in and then in the morning I came out because I was hanging up laundry and the goats always yell for me. So in my back videos you can hear them go me like that. And I could only hear one goat and I thought that was kind of odd. So, um, and it was still early and I went back there and I seen Miel at the gate but I didn't see Fawn. And then when I went further in I seen Fawn. They have a bed they sleep in. It's like this old, um, um, tire ring and I put hay in there for them and Fawn looked like she was sleeping inside her tire ring she looked and I was like oh why is she sleeping that's weird and I went in there and she wasn't sleeping she had passed away um so I'm not sure what happened I don't know if she got bit by something an alacran or spider or something and she wasn't feeling well and she laid down and passed away I don't know if it could have been from um, her stomach not feeling well. I'm not sure, you guys. And Miel is doing fine. She is um, very healthy. She's growing really good. She is sad, though, because they're herd animals and she misses the goat she was with. Um, so I'm not sure, you guys. I'm not. I'm not sure what she passed away from. We were treating her for the things I did notice that were concerning, um, and then the person I talked to, they they didn't think it was parasites, um, because the people we bought them from had already had treatment for those things, um, and then I was also treating them for parasites, like I do with all the animals. So I'm not really sure you guys, and goats are so new to me. Um, um, Miel really needs another animal. She shouldn't be alone. But I do need to wait a minute and I need to give myself a little bit of a breath because it's hard when you lose an animal on your homestead. Um, so I just wanted to update you guys on that because, and it makes me feel bad because I love being able to show you all the good, like cool things on our farm, but sometimes there are things that are really hard and like I said, you need to learn from them and, um, I hope we can learn from it 
and me and my husband didn't grow up on a farm or with farmers around us. So when we take on new animals, all of it is very new to us. Um, and this just happened so fast. There's no like warning signs like that she didn't feel good that day. Um, so I just wanted to update you guys. And we do have a couple other good things going on though. So I'm going to go take care of the animals right now. I'm going to bring you guys with me. Um, and then we'll talk about some more things going on. So let's get going. first um, with the chickens. Sorry, my throat <clears throat> is not feeling very well and it's just kind of been a long couple days. But let's start with the chickens. I'm going to feed all the animals and then um, I'm going to take you guys to one of our properties because I'm going to take the kids out for a picnic. And this morning already and one more here's the water for the bunny like this and I put it right in the corner for him hi baby Good morning. Good morning. Also, you guys, my suegra left back to the States. She only comes, she just kind of comes and goes. Um, she doesn't stay here all year round. She kind of splits it up evenly between going back and forth the States and Mexico. I need to fill up one more bucket of feed for um, the ducks in the back the kikirikis, the ducks in the front, and then we're gonna go bring out feed to Miel. The aid bucket is filled, so let's get some food for the ducks. And someone commented I didn't have grass, but my grass is growing. I water it every day, you guys. I don't know why. I don't know why it's not growing. Miel's food ready and I can already hear her back there yelling for me. She must have seen me. Baby! Oh, here. I'm coming! I'm gonna grab some of these and bring them in. Look how ripe they are, you guys. So good. So Miel's doing really good you guys but with everything that happened with Bon it makes me so nervous because I felt like Bon was doing good as well I'm gonna throw me yeah, a little bit extra grass I wish the back was fenced in so I could just let her out here Who's is a baby? Who's is a pet is a baby? There you go, mama. There you go. So last thing I have to do is fill her water and then we are gonna head out. Let's grab some of these before we head back in. Alright you 
guys so me and the kids are out in Ocotlan right now I had to come out here um, and grab a couple of things I needed so I can do a picnic with the kids um, but also before I left the house I message he's not a vet but he's kind of like the vet of our ranch he knows a lot about animals um, and I'm having him come out as soon as I get home and he is going to look at Miel and I just want to get a little bit more of a perspective on what could have happened to Pan and um, make sure Miel is okay and that we're doing everything we need to be doing. I also buy feed from him so um, I'm going to ask him if maybe my, the feed is something I need to switch up. I'm just not sure you guys but he will be coming out um, to help to help me get a little bit more perspective on things. That tree is so beautiful. Why, but it feels like we're going to the zoo in Guadalajara. <laughs> yeah. It's like what Guadalajara felt like. Oh, is that a cute little cafe? Oh, that's cool. There's a lot of those Santino's pizza around here. Annabelle, get down, please. Come on. It's very, look at those little kids playing. It's so beautiful out. No, just run through. Oh, the kids wanted to go in the water so bad and I think they turned it off. Ambos can go through it and see if it turns on. Oh my gosh, if it turned on on her. <laughs> Who controls the water? <laughs> It's not working. Oh man. Quiet, Pete. Step on the red one. Oh my goodness. I hope it turns on while they're over there. That'd be so funny. Oh man. Do you think it's still here? Wait, I hear something. Do you hear it? Oh, go guys, go! It turned on! Oh, even Abby's going through. <laughs> this is how hot it is in Mexico right now, you guys. Like, even Abby went through. Go, Pete! Go, Abs! <laughs> I'm gonna push you into the other one. <laughs> oh no, you guys left pee pee. Go pee pee. Ah. Feels good, doesn't it? 
hermanos que es por supuesto bien con azúcar, lo que significa de entrada que no necesita preocuparse por agregar calorías a su boca. Ahora lo presentamos Isn't that refreshing? Here. Here, pumpkin, grab your shoes. No, no, pumpkin, those can tip over. Always fun to take a little trip here. You guys finally got to go in that. That's so... Was it refreshing? So it, well, it's so hot out. The Wait, you guys, you can slide down that Wait, you guys, look at that popsicle. I think that's an ice cream shop. If you guys want to get some ice cream. Can I put on... Yeah, let's go in. Let's get an ice cream. I wanted to go on those horses. Alright, let's get... Oh, they have cocoa ice cream, Abby. <coughs> oh, oh, they also have... Look at these fruit drinks. Nieves. Grass butters. I want that one, the blue one. Okay. Look at, they even have these. Wow, I didn't know this was over here. Buenos tardes. I want a fruit drink. I want, I want a fruit drink. Look at girls, you can watch her make it. <coughs> oh, they're pretty big. I thought they were going to be kind of small. It's like a peanut butter, right? I think. I think they put Sprite in it and ice. I bet it's really refreshing. I know, the baby's so cute. What kind of do you want? Um, for todo. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I didn't know they put boba in it. That's cool. Are you sure you don't want one? Uh, vanilla ice, please. Abby, you act like you have to translate when they talk to me in English, but she was talking to me in English. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. That was so delicious. Those are so, they're the bobas that pop in your mouth. Alright guys, I think I'm going to make these in the ranch. These look so easy to make and they are so refreshing. Yeah, they only use like... Four or five ingredients, I think. <laughs> I don't know, it was just dry. <laughs> Go, boo boo. <laughs> None of you guys are brave enough to do it. Oh my goodness, come on. You guys are scaredy cats. You get on it. You get on it. You I will do it. <laughs> You're gonna fall. The mom. Okay. Let's watch Annabelle do it first. Here, Pete, go in this one and I'll hold you. Yeah. As the only one brave enough to do those, but look at this place up here. Yeah. Abby said it's a dance studio. What was going on? Come on, where's it gonna go? It stays in place. <laughs> Alright, you guys, we are heading back home. Look at that place. I know, somebody took a big drink of mine, too. I was just going to say, I think Abby took a drink of everybody's. I'm not cold. I know, it, that ice cream was good, but tasted a little bit too, like, whipped creamy. I love whipped cream. It's because it's so hot today. Yeah, and ice cream.
I just had to make one more stop and I went to get my son Cristiano's glasses. He needs glasses for school. And um, it is so affordable out here, you guys, to get glasses and do eye exams. All right, so this is what he got. And I'm gonna let him put them on. It's a Nintendo Switch holder. It does. So Open them up. Let's make sure they fit before we go. Dang, homie. Well, that's cool. Can you try them on and make sure you see good? Make sure they're not too tight. Oh, well, those look it so like nice. A teacher. <laughs> they look like Superman. They look really good. Like Do you see a lot better? Yeah. Do you feel now like they're good? Like Your hair looks so spiky. <laughs> you All right, guys. Like everybody, sit down and let's get going. You look really good. All right, you guys. It's finally time to head home. It is so hot out right now. So hot. Do you see that blurry sign right there? Uh huh. Take off the glass so I cannot see it. And then put them on. Oh, good. All right, you guys, we just got back home, and um, the vet guy is going to be here in just a minute. So I'm not going to vlog that because I just don't feel like he's going to be comfortable with it. But I will let you know what he says. So I'm going to try to sit in front of the fan for a minute before he gets here. All right, you guys, so we all had a nice little nap, and everybody got in the shower to cool down. And I brought Miel up to the front. Um, so that she could eat some grass. So the person who was supposed to come check Miel hasn't been out here yet. And I've been waiting all day. So, but people on our ranch get very, very busy, you guys. Things come up. Um, but... She is eating really well. She's drinking water well. She's not bloated. Um, I think I'm just a little bit paranoid because of fun. So she's been out here a while now and she's just been eating grass and getting some sun. I put the dogs away. Um, so before I head out with the kids, um, I'm going to put her back in just a minute. But I'm going to try to bring her out front every day for a little bit. And I know I just started growing this grass, but meal's more important than the grass right now. So I'm gonna let her eat this grass. And then tomorrow, I have a little goat collar back here somewhere, and I'm gonna try to bring her to the way backyard where there's even more grass. Will you bring her pumpkin? We gotta put her back. <laughs> oh my goodness. She is, so heavy. she is a lot bigger now, isn't she? <laughs> Remember she used to scream when we'd hold her and now she's like fine. She's like, just get it over with. I know. She's so heavy though. Yeah, just Let's go in. Ambo's going to show you how you eat these. Goodbye. They smell the kind seeds. of funny, but they're good. They do. They smell weird. So good, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. All right, you guys, we were going to do a picnic, but um, I just didn't have time to make all the things I wanted to for it. But we, And I still wanted to bring the kids out here for a drive and show you guys our property. It's too far to walk right now because of the heat, so I'm going to drive you guys out there real quick. This is also where Daddy the kids, people. yeah, and the kids practice driving sometimes. Oh, I can today. That's gonna be fun. How about on the way back? Look how beautiful this is, you guys. And if you've watched our vlogs before, you've seen us walking out here. We normally start from the house and we walk all the way down to Blue Gate. Look at how beautiful the sun is, you guys. Like, how how is it possible it can be this beautiful? So pretty. Imagine riding your horse down here. I know, it'd be so cool. If we had enough horses for all of us. Or like a mini pony, I could pull a carriage. <laughs> well, in the States, they don't even let you drive to your 16. <gasps> oh, did you see the wild bunny? No one knows how to drive Abby. She's 16.
begging me to let her drive and these are just the back country roads you can go like 10 miles an hour so I might let her practice they don't have drivers training on um, I don't want to say in Mexico maybe in the bigger cities they do but like ranch kids do not take drivers training they come out here with their parents and they learn to drive and then sometimes you'll see like 14 year olds driving their tractors around or you know Jose with the horse he rides his horse around everywhere and he has a motorcycle so it's really the parents responsibility here in our ranch to teach your kids how to drive uh oh the sun's going down I'm always scared of coyotes out here Look at the wheat growing. It's so beautiful, Abby. You need to come do your photos in here before they cut it. Now, you can see how far away we are from our ranch now. That's our ranch. Look at it. It's so crazy to see it on that mountain. It's so little. We're almost to the property. All right, guys. We're still going. No, turn here. And then it's, it's like amazing to me that I even know the way but it's because when you were a baby I used to go out here with your dad and so it's like in, or like all the time we had to bring dad and his um the people working out here we had to bring them like dinner remember at night time yeah that's scary oh there goes the sun you guys I Hey okay, guys, now you can see how far back our ranch is, but we're almost to our property. Now, I'm not going to drive all the way down there because it is getting late, and if for any reason my car broke down, I would not want to be out here in the dark. But I'm going to get on top of the car so I can show you guys a little better. On top of the car? We can always go down this road too to get there, but I can show you from right here. Oh, and look at the sun. If you like the smell of like horse barns, the hay coming from the fields right now, there's like nothing that smells better besides little newborn baby feet. Alright you guys, it's one, two, three. So our lot is as big as this one and it's that green one back there. And you see all the hay stacked up, it smells so good. But all the people in the ranch, or most people in the ranch, they all own a lot and they farm it. And then that's our horses. ranch. Horses. Is there horses? Oh, there's people out here horseback riding. I don't know if they can see them way back there. Oh, that looks so much fun. I and then show them where our ranch is, way back there. I want a horse too. Look at a bunch of people met up to go horseback riding. All right, let's get out of their way because I bet they're going to turn right here. I don't know if you guys can see the horseback riders coming. All right, you guys, let's head back. It is Mother's Day in Mexico, and my husband bought me some flowers from Ocotlan, and he delivered them to the house, and that was so nice of him. I told him I didn't need anything, and he got it anyways, um, and then we might go get some tacos tonight or something. I'm not sure On yet. Or street corn. If anything, we're gonna get a horse before we get a dirt bike. Yeah, I want a horse so bad. Right. A horse would be way better. I know. So beautiful, you guys. You guys, we are back home and we are waiting. Abby and Christiana are going to the store to get us some sopa. But we're just playing with a baby. Two babies. One baby, two babies. Tiki 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 ti. Ham dee dum ti. Ham dee dum ti. Satanoa. Ham dee dum ti. Had a great car. And all the kings, men, and horses. Couldn't put him back together again. Do you know the song La Vaca? Lola, La Vaca, Lola. Tiene cabeza y te me cola y hace mu. Aww. Baby, I agree to take what my hand goes. So, Cristiano just got back with soup because we are not feeling good. So, I put some queso de mesa in there. So, just Penelope. 
And then I put chile oil in there. And you just mix it up. Mom, you got All right, you guys, so me and the little girls are gonna finish our soup, but I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you have not already, please like and subscribe, and I love hearing from all of you.